Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And I am back with another Minnesota North Stars game for you from the 1990-91 season that I've been playing. As you recall, the last game that I broadcast was game 38 of the season. The game that's coming up will be game 45. And since game 38, we've gone 3-2. and two. So we've had a pretty good, pretty good run. And this game is the, I chose to play this game because it's against the New York Islanders. Not only are the New York Islanders my current favorite team because there is no more Minnesota North Stars, but the New York Islanders in this season are 9, 28, and 4. So I couldn't pass up a chance to personally beat up on a team, especially when it's my current favorite team. So we'll get to that right after the intro. And we're back. And as you can see, here are the standings, at least the standings that concern us. But I will scroll around a little bit. But you can see Minnesota, we are going into our 45th game of the year. And we're coming in 21, 20, and 3 with an over 500 record. Again, I'm not sure what Minnesota's actual record was at this point. But I suspect it wasn't quite that good. And we're going to be playing, as you can see, the Islanders down there at the bottom of the Patrick division with a 9-28-4 and four record. So this should be a big win for us, hopefully. Um, so I will get out of that, and then we will go to, to game and new scheduled game. And there we are. There's our game right there. Play scheduled game. Uh, first, I'm going to turn down the sound. And then uh, it's going to be computer lines, human decisions, and computer for him, yes. And then uh, we will try to bring everything. Uh, as much as we can now let's see if we can get everything in there okay i think we uh i think we're good to go now so like let's have the face off they got uh jeff uh jeff hackett in that and we have john casey and their only dangerous player it looks like from what i can remember too is pat lafontaine um Okay, so player for possession, they're all across from C's, so I'm going to give it to Brad. Okay, Broughton with it. Okay, let's see what's the next action. Uh, select a player for a shot, Bellows, yep, it's as good as any. And it's going to be an outside shot, looks like, with Bellows. And that's going to be a save by Hackett, and the left defenseman comes away with it. So, uh, Nyland has it. Gary Nyland. All right, uh, select player for a shot. Broughton is as good as any. And he's going to be inside, too. And that's going to be a rebound. And they've got it back, and Nyland has it again.
Uh, yeah, we'll try to intimidate at 35%. And that's going to be uh, Sutter inside. Brian Sutter? No, Brent Sutter. Brent Sutter inside, and that's a save by Casey, and probably going to be a face-off, looks like. Yep. Face-off to Casey's right. And uh, Nyland has it as it for an outside shot off the faceoff. And that's going to be a save by Casey, and the right wing comes away with it, our right wing. Who is Madonna? So Madonna has it. Uh, select a player for a shot. Gagne. Yeah, Gagne's fine. It's not like he doesn't score. Now he's and he's only got an outside shot anyway. Two shots for each of us so far at the 1753 mark of the first period. And that's going to be a save by Hackett, and their right wing comes away with it. And that is Schakowsky. I, I guess that's how you pronounce the name. I don't know. Dave Schakowsky? Schakowsky? I don't know. All right, select the player for a shot, Bobby Smith. Yeah, our big star, Bobby Smith. But he doesn't, he can't hold on to it, and Ray Ferraro comes away with it. Doug Smale has the option to intimidate Bill Berg at 35%. We'll take it. And Bill Berg got by it, and he's inside on Casey. And that's going to be a save by Casey, and the left defenseman comes away. You know, you ever play a game like this where you're against a team that's um, really, really inferior, and you just go into the game with such a heightened confidence that, like, there's no way we're going to lose this game. And yet I'm sitting here thinking on every shot, man, this could be a goal and we could be losing. All right, so they've got it. Joe Riki. Joe Riki. Who doesn't remember Joe Riki? And we're in the box. Brian Glenn. See, here we go. So we're going to be shorthanded for two minutes at the 1534 mark of the first period. But, yeah, I mean, I, I do that. I have a tendency to do that in baseball and in really any of the sports that I play. I think, oh, yeah, we're way better than this team. I'm not even going to worry about this. But, really, you might have to. And then Jeff Norton gets – is that Jeff Norton? Who is that? Yeah, it is Jeff Norton inside on Casey. And that's going to be a save. And we'll give it to Broughton. And then we'll take the next action card. Okay, Neil Broughton has an outside shot. Um, I'm just going to shoot because we're shorthanded. And we get a rebound, but we're probably not going to pick it up because we're shorthanded. And sure enough, LaFontaine comes away with it. And now Volek has an outside shot. And that's going to be a save, and the right defenseman comes away with the puck. At least they're not saying the center comes away with it, because on a short, on, when we're shorthand, oh, all right, well, we're, we're back to full strength anyway, and Dahlquist had it. Got a couple guys, looks like, that don't play a lot playing today, like Wilkinson. He doesn't play a lot for us. LaFontaine with an outside shot. And that's going to be a save, and the right defenseman comes away with the puck. 
and Dahlquist has it. So we are, uh, they're out shooting us five to four right now with 1239 left in the first period. And they've got a penalty to Bumgarner, Gardner. So there's good news. And it's a five minute penalty. Well, that's going to be sweet. We got a power play for five minutes. We really better capitalize on this. Maybe that's why they were so bad this year, that they had a lot of goons out there that really were low on talent. But Brent Sutter comes away with the puck off the faceoff. All right, next action card. And Sutter has it, so we can't even get control of it, even though we have a uh, man advantage. All right, something might be coming up now. Next action card. They skate successfully. So they're killing this penalty off pretty well. They're down to 342 left in it. Of course, you don't see, you know what? You don't see five-minute penalties anymore in the NHL. You did back then, certainly in the 80s and 90s, but I uh, don't see it much anymore. Now Gary Nyland has it. We can't even get control of the puck, and we're up, man. That's, that's pretty bad. All right, Madano has an outside shot. He's going to try to pass because he's great at passing. Inside shot for center or right wing or left wing, I mean. So who's that going to be? Gagne? Looks like Gagne. No, he got, they dumped him to the ice. Unbelievable what these guys are doing shorthanded. I mean, it was a terrible team, and they're shorthanded four or five minutes, and they're they're playing like pros. So now they're down almost to a regular penalty. Gagne has an outside shot. Steals the puck and has an outside shot. And it's a save, and the right defenseman comes away with it for them. That's LaFontaine. Failed to skate, though, so maybe we'll get it back. Uh, player for the shot, Madonna is fine. In fact, I may even pass it if he gets it. Pass it again. Yes, I will pass it again. No, he lost it. Unreal. They're playing a lot better than their record show, that's for sure. Failed skate, though, so we may get it back. Now with a minute 48 left in the penalty. Uh, player for the shot, Gagne, I guess. And we're going to pass with Gagne. Inside shot for somebody, for Bellows. All right, inside shot for Bellows, I'll take it. And that's gonna be a rebound. And hopefully we get it back. Offensive left defenseman Glenn with a rebound shot. Brian Glenn. That's going to be a lose to the right wing. LaFontaine gets it. And now there's only a minute 22 left in the penalty. 9.01 left in the first period. And they failed to skate, so we may have another shot before the power play is over. Uh, Bellows, yeah, we'll give it to Bellows. May even try to get inside with Bellows if I can. Yeah, I'm going to try to penetrate Bellows. 
Failed to penetrate, of course. All right, well, only 39 seconds left. It looks like we kind of frittered this, uh, this opportunity away. No, maybe not. Brian Bellows with an inside shot. Eight is a rebound. Offensive left defenseman if a two, and that is, and that's Brian Glynn again. So he has his second rebound shot of the game. And that's going to be goalie rating, and uh, it's saved. And they've got it back. Nyland has control of it. So we only got like three shots on that, uh, maybe three or four on that. That power play so far. There's still 34. No, it's now we're back to even strength. So 734 left. Uh, next break, I'm going to move ahead to two minutes in the uh, period, as I do with most of the games, to try to keep the game under an hour long. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, game, quick play. We're going to quick play to two minutes left in the first period. And we do that, and it's 0-0 zero, zero still, and... Mark Tenorti has control of the puck. Minute 17 left. And Tucker gets an outside shot. That's going to be a save, and the right defenseman comes away with it. That's Jim Johnson. And they stole it. Looks like Nyland. Yeah, Nyland with an outside shot. And that's going to be lose to the left defenseman. Tenorti. So Tenorti has the puck. Five seconds left in the period. So it's winding down right now. And we will try to intimidate at 25%. And the period's over. So we go to the second period, tied at zero. Um, we're out shooting the Islanders 13 to seven, but we have nothing to show for it on the scoreboard, including a five minute power play for us, which yielded nothing. So Nyland comes away with it off the faceoff, the opening faceoff of the second period. And Jim Johnson is going to have maybe an inside shot. And that's going to be a rebound. Maybe we can pick it up. Uh, yes, and I'm going to have Broughton take the rebound shot. And that's going to be a save, and the right defenseman comes away with it for the Islanders. And that is Ludwig. Uh, 30% intimidation. We'll try it. Can't, doesn't work, and Volek has an inside shot on Casey. 12 is goalie rating, and it's a save, and we will give it to Prop. So Casey coming up big for us there. This might be one of those games, like I said, it's, you know, on paper it looked like we should have steamrolled it, but it may not end up like that. Prop with the puck. And Madano, looks like Madano possibly inside. 
Come on, Madonna, we need a goal here, man. Eh, no, it's going to be a save by Hackett and a face-off to his left. Well, it looks like we've got it. Um, Glenn for an outside shot. He's terrible at passing and getting inside, so I'm just going to have him shoot, see what comes of it. Uh, and it's going to be a save by Hackett, and the right wing comes away with it for the Islanders. And that's Fitzgerald. Because when I, you know, when I set out to do this season, I had considered taking the Islanders because they're my current favorite team. But I looked at them and I was like, this team is just too terrible. All right, select a player for a shot. Um, it's going to be Bobby Smith. Let's see how that works. Yeah. Well, maybe a penalty. On them, hopefully. Uh, looks like offsetting. Yeah, offsetting penalties. And Vakoda has it for them. Well, Stuart Gavin has an outside shot, but again, he's terrible at both, so he's just going to take the shot. And he's another guy, probably, that's in relieving someone else who was more of a regular for us. But needed a rest. And it looks like it's kind of going back and forth. Dahlquist now has it for us. Shots are 18 to 8 us, but 0-0 zero, zero on the board. And Bumgartner with an outside shot for the Islanders. Isn't that the rebound? And it looks like their right wing, Wood, has... Um, Either a deflection shot, but or whatever it was, it was save and the right wing gets it in. We're going to give the Dahlquist because he's across from an A penalty guy. And we'll do the next action. All right, they come away with it. Fitzgerald or Ludwig has it. Madonna intercepts the puck, looks like, and now has an inside shot. Man, we need a goal bad right here. Eight is a rebound. We keep getting rebounds. Offensive left wing of a two. I would hope he is, and it's prop, and he is. So prop with a rebound shot, which is a save, and the right wing comes up. Hackett is just playing out of his mind this game. How good was that guy? Fitzgerald has it for the Islanders. Outside shot only. Outside shot only for prop. He took the puck away. And that's going to be a save in the right, the left the wing, the left wing. And now Bill Berg for the Islanders has the puck. And we take it away. Doug Smale has it. 13-14 left in the second period.
and now Berezan has it. And now Tucker took it away and has an outside shot. And that's going to be a save by Casey. Lucky that was a goal five, but I think the roll was like a 17. So. And uh, Pallone has it. Ron Pallone. Gets a six, and that's a save, and the center comes away with the puck for us. And that's Barazon. Barazon, another guy, probably playing uh, to give somebody a rest. Well, maybe that's why we're not doing that great against these guys, is we got our B team out there, basically. And we're still out shooting them 21 to 11, but Makota has an outside shot for the Islanders. And that's a save, and a the defensive center comes away with it, and that's our center, and that's Broughton. So maybe we can get something going now. Now we've got more of a, an A team out there now. 30% intimidation, I'll try it. Doesn't work, and LaFontaine has an inside shot. That's goalie rating, and it's going to be a penalty, a save and a penalty probably, though, on us. Yeah. I'll have Giles serve it, but at least it was a save. I mean, we're shorthanded for two minutes, but I would take the save and have a two-minute penalty rather than have it be a goal. Inside shot for LaFontaine, though, off the faceoff. That's going to be a save in the center, but we don't have a center, so they probably got it back. Oh, no, they don't. Tenorti comes away with it. All right, good. Got to kill off this penalty. Volek with an inside shot. This is really not proving to be the easy game I thought we were going to get. Five is uh, save any player. I'm across from all C's except for one D, so I'll let Broughton have it. The computer's recommending that too, and that's what I'm going to do. So Broughton has the puck. And now Volek ends up with it and has an inside shot. That's going to be a save, and the left wing comes away for us with the puck, and there's only like 59 seconds left. Barazan has the puck. Neil Broughton, select a player for a shot. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it to Broughton. Um, We'll just have him shoot because we're short-handed and he wasn't that great in those categories anyway, considering the situation he was facing. So that's going to be a save, and their right defenseman comes away with the puck. And that's Norton. And Fitzgerald has an outside shot. And that's going to be a save and left defenseman coming away with the puck. And Wilkinson has the puck for us. Eight thirty nine left in the second. Select a player for the shot. They're suggesting prop, and I'll 
I'll give it to Brock. So prop inside. And that's a goalie rating. And it's a save by Hackett. Unbelievable. So face off to Hackett's left. We're out shooting him 23-17 at the 839 mark of the second period. And uh, we'll take the next action card. Uh, Chris Dahlquist has an outside shot. I'm just going to shoot. And that's going to be a rebound. And yes, I do want to deflect it. I always choose to deflect it and prop will take the deflection. And that is going to be a face off. Oh, no, it isn't. No. But Norton comes away with it. Uh, intimidation 30%. I'm going to take the chance. Bobby Smith has a puck for us. We're out shooting him 24-17. Seven minutes left in the second. Uh, Duchesne has an outside shot option, and he's not really good at any of these things. So I'm still going to try to penetrate. We'll see what happens. Oh, we got an inside shot for the right wing off of it. Doug Smale. So some good came of it. And that's going to be a save for him, for Hackett, and uh, the, their right wing comes away with it. Shazowski. Or no, Bakoda. I guess they had a line chain. So. 6.22 left in the second. Gavin has it for us. But they took it away, and now Don Maloney inside on top of Casey. You can't, that can't be good. But it is a save, and the left defenseman comes away with it for us. Our left defenseman. Which is Mark Tenorti in this particular case. 514 left in the second. And Neil Broughton with an inside shot and on a nice pass. But it's a save, and the right defenseman comes up with it for the Islanders. You can't make this up. We're playing the worst team in the league, and we're tied 0 0 at the 446 mark of the second period. Probably should have quick played this because we probably would have won. All right. Pallone has the puck, Ron Pallone. Or no, Rich Pallone. And Brian Glenn has it, steals the puck away. Thirty percent intimidation. I'll take it. Giles can't get him off the puck, and Ricky has an inside shot on Casey. That's going to be lose to the defensive center. So our center picks it up. Who do we owe a debt of gratitude to on that? Bobby Smith.
And Doug Smale inside on a great pass from Bobby Smith. And that's going to be a rebound. And uh, looks like they're left. Defenseman, no right defenseman. Giles, Giles gets inside on a breakaway. And that's going to be a lose to the right defenseman. You really cannot make this up. They're playing like a great team. They're not playing like the worst team in the league. A minute 58 left in the second period. Incredible. And they penetrated inside with Tucker. So Tucker has an inside shot with a minute 58 left in the second. That's going to be a rebound. And defensive right wing. So Mike Craig comes away with the puck. Another guy that doesn't play very often. Tucker takes the puck away, though, and has an outside shot. That's a seven, so that's going to be a save, and the right defenseman comes away with the puck. Dahlquist has it. Looks like possibly the third period may decide this, although they have a penalty. We Looks like we do too, but they have an extra penalty, so yes. We are on the power play, so we'll be on the power play for the rest of this period, and then... About a minute 20 into the, uh, minute 17 into the uh, second period. Jim Johnson comes away with the puck with 17 seconds left in the period. We're out, now we're out shooting him only 27 20. And LaFontaine took the puck away and has an inside shot. That's going to be a goalie rating and a save, and we will give it to uh, Rob. And that is the end of the period. So here we are. We're starting the third, out shooting the Islanders 27 to 21, but we're locked in a 0 0 game. Nobody could get through yet. Madano comes away with the puck, though. And Jim Johnson now has the puck. Madano with an outside shot. And that's going to be a save, and their left wing has it. Bolick. Uh, Dolan is the puck. Oh, Dolan. No, next action. <clears throat> Looks like Nyland has it. Um, Jim Johnson, 75% intimidation rate. I'll take that. And there won't be a penalty. So Jim Johnson should end up with the puck, right? Or maybe not. Yep, he does. <clears throat> Nyland, though, takes the puck away and has an outside shot. And that's going to be a save for Casey, and our center comes away with the puck. And that's Gagne.
1650 left in uh, regulation. And the penalty to Bumgarner is now over. So we were unable to do very much at all on that. Rich Pallone has it. Uh, Ulf Dahlin. Um, yeah, I'll try him. I mean, everybody else has failed, so. Uh, no penalty, and he, he probably knocked Dahlin off the puck. Yep, so Volek has the puck now. Thirty percent, yeah, I'll try it. Didn't work, and so Wood has an inside shot on Casey. That's going to be lose to the right defenseman. Both goalies playing pretty good here. Both have faced over twenty shots and not allowed any goals in. But I thought we were going to win this game like 5 nothing. Uh, intimidation with Jim Johnson, 75%. That is something I will take. And Gary Nyland comes away with the penalty. Nice. All right, so we got another power play for two minutes. At least that's two minutes where they probably won't get a good opportunity. Uh, select the player for the shot. I'll take Bobby Smith for 100. Next action. So, uh, Rich Pallone has the puck. Keep wanting to call him Ron Pallone. Okay, Brian Prop has an outside shot. I'm going to pass. And Dolan, yeah, we'll we'll give it to Dolan. So inside shot for Dolan. And that's the save. Story of the game. Save and their left wing comes away with it. Tucker. Thirteen oh four left. We're out shooting them twenty nine twenty two, but we can't break through on the scoreboard. Bobby Smith has an outside shot. I'm going to try to penetrate. I guess they got it back. Only 30 seconds left, so time is uh, winding down in the penalty. And it is, we're back to even strength at 10.56 of the third. Uh, still holding a pretty good advantage. Well, now there's offsetting penalties. Still holding a good advantage in the shots, but uh, there's no score on the board. Ah, uh, let's.
let's see. Select a player to get the puck. Well, they're all across from C's, so I'll give it to Broughton. And LaFontaine gets it back. 9.48 left in the game, so we're in regulation. So you got to believe probably the first goal is going to win this game. Gagne has the puck for us. Okay, uh, Madano has an outside shot option. I'm going to try to penetrate with him. Failed to penetrate. So, Derek King has the puck for the Islanders. There's a penalty coming up, probably to us. Yes, Mike Madano with the penalty. So, we're shorthanded for two minutes of the 840 that's remaining. So, that really looks bad. I mean, at best, we kill off the penalty, and then there's only 640 left on the game. Volek has the puck for the Islanders. Uh, I'm going to say no on the uh, intimidation. It's 25%. We're already shorthanded. He's just going to have to stop this. And it's a save, and our left wing comes away with it. And that's Barazan. And Norton takes it away and has an inside shot. And that's going to be a save in the left wing coming away with the puck for us. And that's Barazan again, who lost the puck just a minute ago. A minute 13 left in the penalty. Fitzgerald now has the puck for them. 25 seconds left in the penalty. And LaFontaine looks like he has an outside shot. And that's going to be a save and any player. And um, I'll give it to Broughton. He's across from a C, and that's the highest rated penalty guy for them that's on the ice right now. So Dolan ends up with the puck, and we're back to even strength. But now only out shooting them 29-25. They've closed the gap on the shots. And maybe a penalty on them, though. Uh, coincidental minors. All right, face off. 5.48 left in regulation, 0-0. Zero, zero. Now I'm going to call it. The next goal probably is going to win this game. And Riki has the puck. Thirty percent. I'll try to do it. But Pallone is inside on Casey. And that's going to be a lose to the left wing or the right wing. So Madano comes away with the puck with the four thirty nine left in the third period. Select a player for the shot. I'll, it's suggesting prop, and that's as good as any. He has an outside shot. Brian Prop does. And that's going to be a rebound. And a uh, right wing, right? Okay, Prop gets it back. So a rebound shot for Prop. Come on, this has got to go in. Nope, loses it to the right defenseman. So, uh, Riki has the puck. There's 4.11 left. 
we're out shooting them 30 to 25. Really, but we haven't outplayed them. I wouldn't say we've really outplayed them. Glenn has an outside shot, and that's a seven. That's going to be a lose to the defensive center. And that's the sad part. We haven't really outplayed them, and they're, they're easily much worse than we are. A much worse team, and they're much worse in the standings, and we haven't really outplayed them. Giles with an outside shot for us. Um, that's going to be a lose to any player that they choose. And that will be who? Nyland. No, LaFontaine. So LaFontaine has the puck with 256 left. Am I going out on a limb saying that the next goal wins this game? Broughton with an outside shot for us. Goalie rating. Goal! Yes! <laughs> Looks like maybe we won the game. I mean, I don't want to get ahead of myself. And really, to beat the Islanders 1-0 is really kind of a not good. Neil Broughton with his 10th goal of the year on the assist by Dolan and now face off at center ice. We're winning one nothing with 2.56 left in the game. And Dolan has the puck. And uh, we looks like we had a possible breakaway, but uh, Nyland corralled the puck, and he's got it with a minute 48 left. And Jim Johnson takes it away and has an outside shot. Happy to throw rubber at the net at this point. Seven is going to be a lose to the left defenseman. Nyland now, now really, I, I think Hackett should get a star of the game for this, but we'll see if that happens. Inside shot for the center, and we're going to try to intimidate him for sure, 75%. And he is jolted off the puck. So now Giles has the puck with 48 seconds left. And 30%. Yeah, we've got to try to intimidate everybody now. We've got the one goal lead. No, Ferraro gets through the intimidation and works his way inside to shoot on Casey. And that's going to be a save by Casey on the right wing. Gets it. I mean, Casey will certainly get a star of the game, but I think Hackett deserves one, too. Five seconds left, so it looks like we're going to wrap this up. Uh, we'll give it to DeShane. I don't even care. Shazowski. Carry it over. So we do win the game. one nothing. Outshot the Islanders 31 26. And here we go. Hackett was not a star of the game. That is, that's robbery. He was robbed. I mean, the man faced 31 shots and stopped 30 of them. And he didn't get a star of the game. I don't know what this game is smoking, but I'd like some of it. All right. Anyway, that's it for the uh, for the game. Remember, subscribe to my channel, share it with people you think might be interested. Ring the bell so that you know when I have a new video up. Going to be doing the uh, island or the um, the North Star season until the end and the playoffs. So, for right now, it's Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.